the main thrust is, 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 is really all, it's really all about just awareness raising. Uh, the OECD uh, in their South African declaration in 2002 uh, started the world looking at open educational uh, learning resources. Uh, there are n there's now lots and lots of these initiatives happening all, re really all around the world. Uh, but what you find when you wander into a classroom, teachers don't know that these resources are available. Uh, when you speak to head teachers and educational leaders, th they tend not to know that these resources are, are available or, or that there's a, or there's, a, or there's a movement that their schools and themselves could, could engage with. Uh, and certainly when you talk to politicians or policy makers, uh, a lot of them are un 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 unaware of, of, of these sort of global uh, in initiatives. Uh, and really the purpose of my, my poster uh, is really to set out a model whereby either, either policy makers can be challenged uh, in a way that will th make them reflect on the resources that are there, uh, or, or educational leaders, or, or, or indeed school teachers. It's, it's a very, very simple workshop that my, my poster describes, uh, which is really sit, sitting down a, a group of policy makers or educational leaders or teachers uh, and run it, run, running, running, running through a range of scenarios with them uh, around what open educational resources are so they understand they're there and some of them will know that they're there, uh, but then looking at what the barriers are that we need to overcome uh, to start using these things in our classrooms, uh, but also more fundamentally to start contributing and start creating uh, educational resources and, and, and sharing, them, sharing them with the global community. The two very distinct benefits. Uh, f f first of all, if you look at it from a classroom teacher's point of view, classroom teachers have always uh, cut and pasted, ch chopped up and shared things. Uh, now, now there's a global community of teachers doing this. Uh, think about the fantastic resources you can now access through, through the internet and bring these into your classroom for, for, for your learners. So that, that, that's, a, that's a very basic benefit at a classroom level. Uh, for, for, for leaders, school leaders, you're always looking to improve the, the quality of the, of the learning experience. This is a superb way uh, to get your teachers to, to benchmark their practice uh, with, with teachers from around the, around the world and access additional uh, le le learning resources. Uh, so, so it gives a whole range of benefits. I suppose if you look uh, at a more cynical focus of it at the other end, uh, then you can see this being a response to higher education is getting enormously expensive. Uh, and actually, the direct benefit to the learners uh, is actually there's, a, there's now a whole raft of, of learning materials and a whole range of basic undergraduate subjects that are online and free.